What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Monday night, August 15th, 2022 date. It's about 8.40 p.m. California time. And the latest quake up there on the Earthquake 3D globe looks like a 1.0. Uh, right around the uh, area on this globe here. Let's go ahead and check out some space weather events first before we jump into the earthquake activity. Uh, looks like we do have some storming conditions coming up here. Um, one of them is from a large coronal hole that has been facing us, pouring out some high, uh, high speed solar wind from the sun. Looks like we're stretching up into a G2 category around the August 18th time frame. Uh, G1 class storm prior to that on the 17th. So things are going to get uh, rather interesting there on the, uh, uh, geomagnetic unrest forecast there. Higher latitudes have a 70 to 85% chance of seeing the auroras up there. Mid latitudes, uh, between 30 and 40%. So might see some uh, auroras down into the uh, upper tier states over the next couple nights there. After tonight, it looks like, far as that time frame goes. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Once again, that's coming from uh, mainly the coronal hole. I know we did have a couple M flares. Over the last 24 hours, it's possible some of those flares could uh, give us a little glancing blow from a CME. Uh, looks like we had a uh, M... Oh, what was it? Let's go back here to the map here. M... I yeah, know we had one a little bit larger than that. Let's see what we got here. We had a couple different M flares. Uh, there's one up here, and then the most recent one was a pretty low M1 something. Uh, but either way, things are definitely uh, active, very active in terms of the uh, dynamics of uh, at least one sunspot uh, crackling with a bunch of sea flares. Uh, 3078, I believe, is the amplified one, uh, potentially, uh, that could give us a, uh, a little bit more of a, a flare threat, so to speak. The Beta Gamma Delta magnetic class that it holds there is looking pretty complex and there is uh, at least a 60% chance of another C flare. M flare stands at 15 and X flare around 1%. And that's from AR3078. That one does look pretty dynamic. Uh, 3081 looks like it is classified as well as having a little uh, uh, complex magnetic field, a beta gamma uh, magnetic class there. It looks like 30% chance of a C flare. So uh, things definitely uh, cooking a little bit on the sun, so to speak, in terms of some solar flare, 3078, uh, 3081 there. Uh, those two sunspots looking pretty uh, pretty active, and they are facing us right now, so anything that it does produce will be geo-effective. But either way, watch for some G2-class storming here. Uh, looks like on the 18th time frame. Uh, it really gets going here, it looks like, on the Aug August 17th time frame here. Uh, right around the 18 to 24 uh, UTC time and then it just elevates from there the peak event looks to be uh, between 6 and 12 a UTC time on the 18th uh, now that's gonna be late uh, that's probably gonna be let's see what time is that gonna be late night yeah around it should work out perfectly uh, for the uh, northern latitudes there should be right around the uh, time that it's dark overnight for uh, specifics in the G2 uh, class category. So watch for that. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. All right, earthquake activity. What do we got going on here around the bend? Of course, we did have some uh, activity. It looks like that one pointer was up around the Italy area or, or somewhere around there. Let's go ahead and check out the exact location on that. Uh, it's just kind of weird showing a one pointer on the globe and I have it set for uh, two something and above. But uh, either way, a little activity it looks like here outside of the region. Uh, 2.0 in France 23 minutes ago. And some scattered activity up and down the board. It looks like that one pointer is way up here. And yeah, it just kind of disappeared now. But uh, yeah, a little activity throughout the Mediterranean region. Also a little bit of earthquake activity. It looks like a 4.4 in the southern Iran area. This one kicking up uh, looks like uh, earlier this morning time frame. Not for sure if the USGS has shown it. Yes, they are. Surprising. All right. Uh, other earthquake activity still remaining pretty active out here along the Pacific Plate. 
Uh, still looking at uh, some movement up here around the Kurokamachaka Trench. We did see a little bit of filling in of earthquakes, but nothing major. Uh, still watching this zone pretty closely. Just been having a couple small fours uh, in the vicinity of my watch area for a larger quake. The Mariana Trench and the Izu Trench area up here south of Tokyo into this area. Right around the plate boundary of the Pacific and the Philippine plate here. Uh, not showing anything right now. Uh, most of the activity here has been uh, north of Manila, around the Philippines south, where they're still seeing quite a few fours, and even a 5.1 that kicked up overnight, or 5.4 I should say, that kicked up overnight, and some uh, minimal activity throughout the Java Trench regions. Down here in the Vanuatu, Fiji, and the Kermadec Trench, all seeing some activity, although most of this was from this morning time frame. So looking at the latest activity, the most, as far as like the newest movement goes, it's been a couple hours here, a few hours, I should say, uh, in terms of anything uh, above 4.0. Last one was about five, six hours ago in Iran. Uh, so things are just kind of uh, at a standstill currently here throughout the region. Uh, this one here, yeah, this one was way earlier this morning. Uh, West Coast activity is lighting up a little bit. It looks like a 2.6 near the Fernley, Nevada area coming in on the 2.5 map. Aside from that, one earthquake outside of Hay Fork. Uh, that one kicking up way earlier this morning. Uh, but far as the rest of the magnitudes go, we'll look at the map here, and it looks like uh, one out here in the coastal range outside of Willits near Lake Pillsbury. California, about 1.8, a pretty shallow earthquake there. Looks like it uh, kind of off the uh, Makama Fault or the uh, Bartlett Springs Fault system. I know there's a couple other uh, smaller faults within that area, but uh, looks like it's in between those two. Uh, hydrothermal operations up here with the Calpine uh, events, uh, earthquakes. Uh, southward, still some movement along the San, Just or the, uh, San Andreas Fault here along the creeper, the creeping section up against the Diablo range, still seeing some activity, although that activity below the 2.5 threshold and most of it is a microquakes. Filling in a little bit around the Ridgecrest area after uh, I'd, I'd say about a week or so of quiet conditions, although 12 earthquakes, not really that active, just a couple ones and uh, looks like a two in the mix in there as well. Southern California, pretty s scattered. Uh, earthquake activity, no major swarms to take note of. Uh, things look like a typical day there in the Southern California region. Some activity up around Yellowstone. That was from this morning time frame. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, Yellowstone map here. Stand by for just a second. Uh, I don't see any major swarms. We did have a little bit of activity throughout the day today, although the last few hours things look pretty mellow. Not a whole lot of spikes here on the graph that would indicate any type of sufficient large-scale swarm or any swarming for that matter just a couple small uh, microquake earthquakes throughout the day at Yellowstone National Park over around Texas area things starting to fill in a little bit around the oil uh, fields outside of Pecos uh, let's see what we got here uh, 2.9 near the uh, Toro gas field I mean let's let's go ahead and zoom in shall we I mean I'd, I'd like to see what's going on Kind of looks like some maybe ancient towns down there, some farmhouses, right? Until you move in and, and really see what's going on uh, in the areas. Uh, these are injection well stations with a pond, wastewater injection, uh, gas and oil fields as listed here on the map. Some of them old, some of them new. Earthquake activity out there uh, within those fields and that will continue for many, many years to come and they will get bigger than the 2.9 that's showing up there on the map. So just look for that throughout the states of Texas, Oklahoma, wherever there's the, um, you know, the events that go on there. Uh, South Carolina, one little earthquake outside of Elgin, it looks like a 1.5. That one was from this morning time frame, so no major further movement out there in, along the East Coast. Uh, Puerto Rico area looks like a little swarming activity once again kicking up here um, southwestern portion very typical here of this region to see that it's been ongoing for quite some time now South America haven't seen any further earthquake uptick after the Mid-Atlantic Ridge earthquake uh, this morning had a 5.0 out there in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and sometimes these uh, divergent boundaries here did do tend to, uh, well, increase pressure out there along the South American plate region around the uh, uh, Nazca plate boundary, 
but uh, so far we're not really seeing anything uptick in terms of earthquake activity. One 4.6 on the map. This one uh, coming in oh, a couple hours ago, 171 kilometers, so we could be getting things uh, going here along the South American region. We'll keep an eyeball on that. Uh, let's see what we got for trimmer map tonight um, along the Cascadia. Zero. Zip. Zip zero. So all that activity we're seeing over the past couple days along the western portion of the Pacific Plate uh, and a lot of activity down south here has kind of uh, tapered off movement along the Cascadia. I noticed the trimmer map really kicks up here into the Cascadia when things are calm along the western Pacific here. That's kind of just, it gives me a, a good indication that there's some shoving here of the plates, the Juan de Fuca plate as a whole being shoved underneath the North American plate, uh, creating that uh, vibrational frequencies there that uh, is called tremor. So it just kind of goes hand in hand, pressure in the region. Gonna take that plate and shove it down further underneath the North American plate and build up some further strain here along the locked area of the Cascadia subduction zone. So that, uh, but now, no trimmer and uh, just pretty basic. Uh, there's not a whole lot of pressure out here along the west coast, I don't think, right now. Uh, just aside from these little small earthquakes, most of this activity, older movement, and uh, not a whole lot showing up throughout the Pacific Northwest. One earthquake outside um, south of the Strait of Juan de Fuca got 36 kilometers for this 1.3. It's a pretty deep earthquake here in this region. I know 36, not super deep, but it's not at the surface either. It's down there, uh, kind of where we see the uh, tremor activity kick up along the Cascadia. So uh, is a Cascadia uh, earthquake up there, uh, definitely down into that subduction zone. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? Let's go ahead and check out the Earthquakes Canada map. I know uh, over the weekend they were pretty slow to report anything. Uh, and it looks like they may have updated at least one earthquake out here along the uh, uh, Pacific uh, 1.6 way off the coast village of Queen Charlotte BC region 34 kilometers deep in that area All right guys, uh, I think that's about it. There's no major movement uh, or um, What's the word I'm looking for? No major activity on the volcano uh, out there around the Samoa Islands as far as any updates go. Uh, I know they have been putting out a uh, little bit of informational statements in terms of the Tau Islands and other volcanoes there in the American Samoa. They're having some type of earthquake swarm there. Um, so uh, the latest one was put out, this latest article was put out the 15th uh, I'm not going to read it all. It is an unassigned uh, volcano right now, but it looks like they uh, definitely need to keep an eye on it. They were having about 30 to 60 earthquakes per hour. Most events were too small to be felt, uh, but they're saying some of the larger events could be between magnitude 2 and 3.0. So uh, no major changes, but something to keep an eye on, right? These volcanoes, uh, submarine volcanoes, can definitely create quite the explosion. Now, I'm not for sure if this one would be able to uh, do what the Tonga, uh, uh, Hunga Tonga volcano did earlier this year in a dramatic fashion. That thing was pretty awesome to look at satellite views, but uh, something to watch pretty closely here. And it looks like there, uh, here's the uh, Raspberry Shake map. We checked this out earlier. And uh, this is kind of like a recorded um, seismograph station here. It's still looking pretty active in terms of some earthquake activity. Seeing these uh, little spikes there. Not nothing big, but those are definitely some earthquakes. This is a live map uh, over the last few hours. This is a UTC time, although it kind of looks like it's behind because it's not currently 1800 UTC time. So uh, I'm not for sure what's going on. I don't really use the Raspberry Shake all that often. I know quite a few folks do, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I really haven't even looked at this stuff all that often um, uh, as far as this specific app to use and to watch the, uh, the live data, but I'll, I'll look over it and see what I can figure out. Either way, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there and uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday night. For now, things are just kind of uh, as is. We'll see how it plays out throughout the night tonight. 
and uh, throughout the uh, throughout the coming days, can't wait to see uh, how how awesome the space weather uh, event's going to be here. G2 Storm, not that big of a deal, folks, um, unless it's a prolonged event, which it doesn't look like it. Uh, prolonged events around the G2, G3 uh, stormy conditions can definitely be uh, some some issues with power grids and whatnot, but it doesn't look likely that we're going to see any long duration event uh, from this uh, incoming solar storm. Either way, we'll keep you guys updated and uh, make sure you guys subscribe and, and whatnot while you're here. Um, have a good night, guys. Peace out.